I just want you to stand with me together. And I know you can't clap your hands with juice in one hand and bread in the other, but I want you to lift your voice and thank God that our pastor, Pastor Rod Parsley, is in the house and he's with us tonight. And he's going to share a word with you that's going to change your future. Somebody lift your voice and shout hallelujah. Don't be left out. Do you love Elder Bill Canfield? No, I mean like really love him. I mean like would you sacrifice for him? Because that's what love is. Anything else, just lust. It, at any level, anything else, just lust. Meaning they have something you want. That's lust. But love is self-sacrificing. I know it may be a little awkward for you to be seated again with, you know, those elements in your hand, but go ahead and be seated just for a moment. Uh, Henry David Thoreau said, I am grateful for all that I am and for all that I have. Therefore, my thanksgiving is perpetual. Gratitude is the seed for more. Again, gratitude is the seed for more. Come, Francis. Come, Francis. Uh, Jim, you and, uh, you and, uh, 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 no. I want, I want uh, Jeff, who I pray for twice every day. I want Jeff and, and Jim. I want Francis. I pray for all three of these people by name every day, twice a day. I pray for you too. But I, I, I just looked out there, and for the first time in a long time, your eyes look weary. And you've been fighting, but a great peace is going to come over you. Yeah. And, and he carried, he bore all your sicknesses and disease, and he carried all of your pain. These signs shall follow them that believe in his name. You say, well, I don't, I don't know if I can believe enough. Well, don't worry about it because... Jesus said to the man whose son cast himself in the fire, that man said, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. Yes. Didn't he? So your faith can never measure up to where Jesus' faith isn't necessary. So he steps in as your covenant partner, and right now he's knelt down at the right hand of the Father. And not only does Pastor Rod say Francis Jolly, I always say my precious Francis Jolly. Uh, not only is your name on my lips, he took your name and my name, our polluted names, our cancerous names. He took those in his own body and he put them, our names in his mouth. And right now, triumphantly beside the father he's talking about he's just talking about you I'm convinced he never stops talking All right. I'm convinced he never stops talking he's talking right now you could hear him if you'd listen he's talking right now and he takes our name and right now he's knelt down at the right hand of the father and he's saying your name over and over and he's pointing at that blood. Now, he said, before this you ask nothing in my name, but after this, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. But then he went a step further and he said, whatever you ask in my name, I'll give it to you. So we got the Father 
given to us. And we got Jesus given to us. And the Holy Ghost comes to bring all those things to our remembrance. So he comes now to let you know that Jesus said the Father would give it to you. And then Jesus said he'd give it to you. So that the Father could be glorified in the Son. I'm talking to everybody, not yes. just you. Yes. And my whole right arm is on fire. My God. Right. At least a hundred people are going to be healed in the next five minutes. Now, don't, don't you make me come up in here and have to yell and scream. Because I don't know when I'll yell and scream. The anointing is on the word, not how I say it. So then, then he said, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. So where our faith is weak, he's praying for our faith as he did the apostle Peter's. Right? He's, he's praying for it right now. Now, he stood outside the tomb of Lazarus, lifted his hands to the Father and said, Father, I know you hear me always. Yes, yes, yes. Then he said, Father, I pray that they will be in me and me and them as you are in me and I'm in you. So if he answered Jesus' prayer, he has to answer your prayer. Or he's a respecter of persons and he's not. Because he said he was no respecter of persons. He said he was Yahweh Vavhe, the everlasting one who changeth not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Not consumed. Consumption. Yeah, we're not consumed. Yeah, we're not consumed. Amen. We're not, our, our joy is not consumed. Our peace is not consumed. No, no. Let all that I am wait quietly before my God. For my hope is in Him. He is my rock, He is my salvation. Be not cast down, O my soul. Be not disquieted within me. Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance. And my, just lift your hands right now as best you can. Just say, you're the health of my countenance and my God. Oh. Whew. You feel that? It's just all over you. It's all over you. It's just all over you. So he said, these signs will follow those that believe in my name. They'll cast out devils. They'll cast out devils. If there was no devil, there'd be no sickness. If God gave you sickness, he'd have to steal it. There's no sickness in heaven. None. And that doesn't have to be on this earth. Because the earth and the fullness thereof belong to the Lord. You are not going to be in the kingdom. You're in the kingdom now. Right now. Right now. You're in the kingdom right now. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Well, what is his will? That you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. That's what he said his will was. So we impose that. So these signs follow those that believe in his name. Do you believe in his name? Do you believe in his name? Do you believe that he's been given a name above every name, that at his name every knee has to bow, every tongue confess? Well, why don't you just go ahead and do it then? Just go ahead and confess he's Lord. I hope Elkhart's getting every word of this. I, I just release healing to Elkhart, Indiana right now. There is such a revival on in Elkhart, Indiana. We had Elder uh, Mike Alfrey here with us for two or three days. I got to be over there twice in the last three weeks. And I woke up on Saturday morning of this week and I could barely write. My hand was shaking so hard under the power of God with exactly what's about to happen at Elkhart, Indiana. And God kept talking to me for over two hours. So get ready because it's about to blow up on y'all. Is everybody doing all right? Don't tell on me now because I'm not supposed to be doing this. I had to pick up a prescription for somebody else today, not me. But I had to pick one up for somebody. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had a prescription for over two months. I'm supposed to still be on 50 milligrams of painkillers a day. I don't take any because God is my healer. God is my healer. He's my, I don't have any withdrawals either. Blessed be the holy name of God forever. 
Oh, that was Norville Hayes. Father, we just pray for Brother Norville right now. We'll just pray for Brother Norville right now. God just told me if I'd lay my hand on Elder Canfield, a supernatural impartation of faith would come to him. I can't hear you. Brother, Brother Norville's daughter, Zona, went to be with the Lord this morning. I was, I was talking with him on the phone today. So these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. If there was no devil, there'd be no sickness. And it belongs to him, doesn't belong to us. Our body was not made for fornication. And our body was not made for sickness and disease. That's what the Bible says. My, my body was not made for fornication. My body was not made for sickness and disease. My body was made for the Lord and the Lord for my body. Yes, yes. That's what it says. And the Lord for my body. My body was made for the Lord and the Lord for my body. The Lord was made for your body. The Lord was made for your body. Quit hating your body. The Lord was made for your body. Now, I'm going to show you something in a minute. Please don't tell anybody I did this. I was, at the, I was at the pharmacy today getting a prescription for somebody else. You thought I'd forgotten, didn't you? I just haven't been talking. I, I have been thinking. I was. And the pharmacist said, man, you, because when I walked in, I said hello to him. His name's Dale. I said, how you doing, Dale? And he just stood back like that. He said, Pastor, the last time I saw you, you had to write notes to me. And he said, that was just two months ago. I said, yes, sir. He said, didn't you go through all that radiation? I said, yes, sir. He said, didn't you have third degree burns all over your neck? I said, yes, sir. He said, well, I have five other people getting their prescriptions at this pharmacy who all had the same thing you had. Yeah. Before you did. And they're still in bed. And they're still on everything. I said, well, he's a wonder. He's a wonder. Yeah, honey. See, the curse says, I, I have 12 different translations of the curse of the law that I put to memory. And part, part of the curse is inflammation, inflammation, irritation, burning, scarring. People say, I wear my scars proudly. Well, stop wearing them. Go buy you some jewelry. You're supposed to be wearing some scar. Why do we say things like that? Jesus is my savior and my salvation, my healer and my healing, my deliverer and my deliverance. He has delivered, does deliver, will yet deliver. That's what the word says. Get in the word. Get in the word. What she, what she whispered and told me is I, I saw pain in her eyes and I knew, I knew that she was having pain. But she didn't know if I got a message that she sent me, but I did. It got it on my phone. I sent you a response, but maybe you didn't get that back. But we, te we text each other all the time. Well, why don't I text you? Well, I don't know. Why don't you pray for me like she does? <laughs> all right. <laughs> she texts me all the time. And, and she texts me on Friday. Because while I was receiving radiation, she was too. And she called me Friday, text me from the doctor. She said, my doctor just told me they can't find any cancer in me. Woo! See, if I was shouting right now, you'd be shouting. Why do you need me to shout? No, everybody praise him. I expect somebody to praise him.
I said, I expect somebody to praise him like you took cancer out of your body. Hey, Elkhart, here's how great he is. He took cancer out of you and you didn't even have to have it. He took it out of me. He took it out of Francis. There's a whole lot of you going to be shouting right now because the devil had a plan to kill you with cancer. But you gave a shout at just the right time and the thing never even manifested. I feel God up in here. I feel God up in here. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit in a minute. Be seated. Oh, Blessed are they who have seen and believed, but even more blessed are they who have not seen and believed. And the proof of your faith is when you're willing to praise God as though it's already an accomplished fact when you haven't heard the report yet. If you'll praise God in the midst of your circumstance, God will show up in the midst of your circumstance. Somebody go ahead and praise Him like you've already heard the good report. A hundred people are being healed right now. A hundred people are being healed right now. So, ah, somebody's back just got healed. Somebody's back just got healed. If that's you, get out in an aisle. I'm telling you, get out in an aisle if that's you. Come here, lady. Come here. Come here. Yeah. It was you, wasn't it? Huh? It was you, wasn't it? It was you, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There, there it is. Yeah, that's what you call a seven times greater anointing right there. That's what you call that. I'll get my hands on you. I'll get my hands on you. Yeah. So, 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 Francis, he said, he said, uh, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. When you start, when you start treating aches and pains like devils, like devils, come here, God has a healing for you. Oh, dear God, it's all over him. Look at it. Look at the healing power of God. Look at it. Look at it. Take it. Worship God. Worship God. Worship God. Worship God. Worship God. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Open your mouth and worship Him. Call Him by His name. Jehovah Yisus Hagabah. Jehovah Maskabi. Call Him by His name. Call Him by His name. If you don't know His name, learn Him. Call Him by His name. He has a name. Healing has a name. Joy has a name. Peace has a name. Victory has a name. Honor has a name. Wealth has a name. Hallelujah. Get him up. He's healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that takes away the sin and the sickness and the pain and the disease. Hallelujah. The malady and the malfunction. I, I'm going to quit now. He said, he said, these signs shall follow those that believe in my name. Shout, I believe in his name. Believe Tell three people around you, you believe in his name. Whatever you need, he has a name for it. Whatever you need, he has a name for it. Whatever he needs. I pray for your children every day too. Hallelujah. 
Everybody shout when I say three, and I mean shout because you feel victory coming out of your belly. And if you don't feel victory coming out of your belly, shout until you do. Because there's about to be a poverty curse. Wait, 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 wait. There's about to be a poverty curse broken. That's one of the reasons God sent me to Elkhart, Indiana, and I'm not leaving till it's broken. You understand? Now, when I say three, I want you to shout about it because God's about to pay your mortgage off. No, God's about to pay your car off. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. I just heard God say something. So I said, wealth and riches shall be in your house. Psalm 112, 2 through 3. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Notice what he said. Wealth, you can't just read the Bible, you got to read the Bible. God just showed me something standing right there I've never seen before. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Not your apartment. Now wait a minute. Not somebody else's house that you're making payments on. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. I'm telling you, I woke up, I woke up, I hope, I hope, I don't know why Elkhart's so strong, and well, I do know why it's so strong in my belly tonight, but when I say Elkhart, I'm, I'm talking about everybody, but you understand, that's our baby. Elkhart's our baby. We're the mommy and daddy. That's our baby, and we got to help that thing along. I thought I heard somebody. I thought I heard somebody. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Your house. I'm talking about that one that's paid off. That's yours. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, on Monday morning, I woke up and God said to me as clearly as I'm standing in front of you. You say, well, how can God talk to you so much? Well, because I listen. Because I pray, because I don't roll out of bed, half brush my teeth, spray some cologne on, and go to work. First of all, I do this first, every day. Every day. I don't want a single leader in this church ever again, and I'll ask you two weeks from now. If you've received Holy Communion every day before you started your day, and if you tell me no, you're going to go home. You're going to go home. What are you doing? We're not fit to talk to people about God until we talk to God about people. What are you doing? Now, I've, I've said that we ought to receive Holy Communion every single day. I've been saying it now for six or seven years. When I say something, listen. Okay, I'm... Do you know what I've discovered in the last six months? I said this to Dr. Murdoch the other day. I said, what I discovered. He said, what did you discover when you stroked your Bible? No, what, what did you discover when you couldn't speak? I said, the value of words. If you expect God not to let his words fall to the earth void of power, why do you let spiritual leadership's words fall to the earth void of power? Why do you let your own words fall? Oh, I'll do it. No, you didn't. All right. All right. No, you don't want me to preach. <laughs> you want to hurry up and get home to our turkey. I understand. I just haven't got to talk for a while. And, uh, but here's, here, write this down because this is true. I mean in your spirit. Write it down, Elder Murphy. Write this down. There is about to be a territorial anointing come to every person attached to this ministry that will learn it, believe it, and do it. Wealth and riches are going to be in your house. 
when you own it. Because that's your house. Otherwise, it's the bank's house. To your house. Just believe. Believe God. This is a supernatural year of debt cancellation. So don't make more debt. Get out of debt. Oh, glory. These signs follow them that believe in my name. They cast out devils. They speak with new tongues. They take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. You have a passing through anointing. Do you, I'm closing. Do you know what you're holding in your hand? You're holding in your hand the elements of Passover. It was passed over in the old covenant. It's passed through in the new covenant. Because if I can drink in a deadly thing and it not harm me, that means I have a passing through anointing. We had in our scripture reading this week, if you were doing that, another thing I need to start checking on. We read the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Cast in the fiery furnace. Heated seven times hotter than it ought to be. Right? What burned off of them? What bound them? No. What burnt off of them? The thing that bound them. So there was something, there was something binding me that's now burnt off of me. Because I passed through the fire. <laughs> Pass through the flood and it will not overflow you. Through the fire and it will not burn you. Amen. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Okay, come up here and stand up here, Jeff and Jim. Everybody else can be seated. <clears throat> okay, this is Jim and Jeff. Right? And I've been knowing them for 30 years. I think I knew you before you had any children. Yes. And I knew you before you were even married. And now you have a grand baby. She was at my house last night. <sighs> She's a corker. Miss Joni dressed her up like a princess. Now watch. Jim needed a kidney, liver, liver, I'm so sorry, liver. And, or you couldn't live. And Jeff's son, Chase, who came into this world, I, I wasn't in the room, but I was there shortly after. And he not related, not, no relation, no. He gave Jim his kidney, liver, his liver. Because your liver is the only organ that will grow back. A portion of it can grow back. So he gave him a part of his liver. 38%. 38.7. of his liver to Jim and Jim's liver taken out. Now you think about that. Chase gave him a liver so he could live. Amen. That's all natural. On that cross, he gave me a vocal cord. That's right. He gave Jim his liver. He gave you a bladder because everything that comes against us, he received in his own body on the tree. He took ours and gave us his. So I just reject the sick one. That's not my I'd say. That's not what Jesus gave me one. Just like if you can believe Chase can give Jim a liver and make him live. What does Jesus want to give you to make you live? He already gave it to you. Now see, I'm getting, he already gave it to you. 
You have it now. Say, I have it now. Say, I have it now. Of course you do. Because you have faith. You have faith that comes by hearing and hearing by the word. You have faith that came by impartation. Since you've been in this room, you've received faith. You receive faith by the measure. God gave it to you when you got born again. You receive faith by the gift of faith. You receive faith by the fruit of faith. Shall I go on? How many ways do you need to receive faith? You ought to listen to Dr. Murdoch and just be a world-class receiver. Shout, I'm a world-class receiver. Some of you don't know anything I'm talking about because you weren't here Sunday night. A world-class receiver. I'm a world-class receiver. I'm a world-class receiver. I'm a world-class receiver. You got a house you want to give me? Because I'm a world-class receiver. You got a car you want to give me? I don't need one, but I'll sell it and use money to preach the gospel. I'm a world-class receiver. You got some money you don't know what to do with? I promise you I'll find what to do with it. Amen. I'm a world-class receiver. I receive new vocal cords. Hallelujah. I received a voice back. Now you look at these two men and you understand that one son gave another a body part and he was dead and now he lives. Jesus gave you, if you being earthly fathers, the word says, know how to give good gifts, how much more shall your heavenly father give to you? Quit acting like God's wanting to hold out on you. God's not holding out on you. He's your father. He's your Abba. I said, he's your Abba. Ashton needed something the other day, and I just pulled out my wallet and wrote it out. She's my child. If I've got it, she's got it. He's the vine. I know you want me to hush. He's the vine. You're the branch. Anything that's in him belongs in you. And nothing belongs in you that's not in him. So won't you shout it out right now? I mean shout. I wish I could shout. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Will, wealth and riches shall be in your house. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. I see three carts coming to your house. They're full of stuff. Get ready, because your stuff's coming back. Your, it's coming back. All right. Here we go now. Y'all come on and join us. The night in which Jesus was betrayed, he got really mad and called his three other elder friends to talk bad about the church. The night which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. And he broke it. And he gave it to them. And he said, receive it. For this is my body which is broken for you. Every morning of my life, stand in front of my windows, lift my hands up to God. And when I couldn't even speak, I mouth the words, healing is a children's bread. And I believe when this bread goes in my body, it's better than any medicine that could ever be put in my body. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear to my sayings, for they are life to those that find them, and health to all their flesh. The actual translation of the word life there is medicine. God's word is medicine to you. That bread is medicine to you. Healing is a children's bread. That's what the word says. You need healing? Do you need healing? Do you need healing? Do you receive healing? All right, well then take your medicine. Take your medicine. In other words, just like medicine. You know, a whole lot of African-American people have high blood pressure. It's a genetic thing. They have high blood pressure. The worst thing you can do is go on blood pressure medicine and not take it when you're supposed to, how you're supposed to. Is that how you've been taking the word? You can't take the word whenever you want to. 
based on who's preaching that day. You, you miss your dose. And then wonder why you're sick. Wonder why your children don't serve God. Wonder why poverty and shame's in your house instead of riches and wealth. You're missing your dose. Don't miss your dose. Amen. Like manner also he took the cup. And when he had blessed it, he supped and gave to them and said, Take this the new covenant in my blood. Now don't drink it yet. Because he said, This is the new covenant in my blood. You listening, Elkhart? This is the new covenant in my blood. Say new covenant. new covenant. For if there had been no fault with the first, there would have been no need found for the second. Now in that first one, if you read Hebrews chapter 11, women received their children raised again from the dead. So what's up with your dream? That was before the blood. God's going to give you that business back. Now, it may not be that business, but there is wealth stored up greater than what that business provided. And whatever it was that was lost in that business is coming back. Yeah, I, know, I, I got corrected by the Holy Ghost. I don't know that it's that business. Might be some other business. Might be somebody writes you a check. I don't know what it is. Look, are you looking for it? Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. That blood provided it. Don't ever let me do this to him. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be doing this. Hallelujah. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. So take your medicine. Receive the cup of the Lord. The new covenant. The new covenant. Hallelujah. Old things are passed away. Your old nature has gone. Your old allegiances are gone. You're going to change your attire. You're going to look different, talk different, act different, move different, shout different, praise different, wave different, dance different. Hallelujah. 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 Now, go ahead and glorify the Lamb of God. Go ahead and glorify the Lamb of God. Come on, Elkhart. Go ahead and glorify the Lamb of God. Glorify Him. Glorify Him. Hallelujah. Now just start yelling out things you're thankful for. Go on. Yell them out. Yell them out. Yell out something you're thankful for. Yell out something you're thankful for. Keep saying it. Hallelujah. Well, that was weak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You thankful? You grateful? Bless the Lord. Lord, bless these. Anoint them. Cover them. Shelter them. Protect them. Provide for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I just hear the Lord saying, there are several things you keep asking him for. Stop asking. Stop asking. Don't ever ask him again. Don't ever ask him again. I said, don't ever ask him again. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, between here and the manifestation, there's a shout. There's a praise. Don't keep making the same petition. Turn your petition to a praise. Because it's already done. Come on, sing it. 